Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we will be producing some zinc powder from zinc metal using an electrochemical method. To begin, we can obtain some zinc metal. This zinc is slightly corroded, but that's okay. Zinc can be obtained from zinc carbon batteries or bought as zinc roofing strip to prevent moss growth. We will also need some hydrochloric acid, which could be purchased from hardware stores as muriatic acid. The zinc can be added to a large beaker and covered with acid to dissolve the zinc to zinc chloride. Some additional acid and zinc was added during the reaction, and once it was done, it was filtered off to remove insoluble impurities. Interestingly, some unknown gelatinous goop was produced during the reaction. This is what was filtered off. Next, 200 grams of sodium hydroxide was added to 1 liter of water, and this was slowly added to the zinc chloride solution. Initially, zinc hydroxide precipitates out, and then additional sodium hydroxide will cause sodium zincate to form, which is water soluble. Once the solution completely redissolves, it can be filtered to remove any other insoluble metal hydroxides present, and then the solution can be set up for electrolysis. A nickel mesh and a strip of zinc can be used as the negative and positive electrodes respectively. A 4 volt DC power supply was attached to the electrodes, and zinc immediately began forming on the negative nickel electrode. As a side note, having too high of current will cause hydrogen to form at the negative electrode, which is undesirable, so a lower current must be used. As the reaction proceeds, the zinc anode is oxidized and dissolves into solution, and zinc is reduced at the cathode and forms zinc powder. As the anode is consumed, more zinc can be added to the solution to continuously form more zinc powder. After electrolyzing for two days, I created sufficient zinc powder so the electrodes were removed and the zinc powder was filtered off. After filtering, the zinc began to heat up and turn white as it exothermically oxidized in the air. Thus, I quickly added more water to the zinc and left it as a wet paste instead of trying to dry it. This indicates that the zinc is so fine that it is pyrophoric when dried. The wet zinc powder will be fine for my future plans with it, however, so that's not an issue. Anyhow, that is essentially how to produce zinc powder by electrolysis. The sodium zincate solution can be reused in future runs to produce more zinc powder. I also suspect that directly electrolyzing a sodium hydroxide solution with zinc electrodes would generate the sodium zincate solution in situ, and then begin depositing zinc powder. Thus, the sodium zincate step could be skipped. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a future project. Okay, bye.